Hey everybody, this is Sheila here with Love Breaking Healing and thank you so much for allowing me to spend this time with you today, this evening or tonight, whatever it is, it's always wonderful when we can come together and actively work on our healing. So thank you for allowing me to do that. Um, today's Distance Reiki session uh, is going to be, I think, about really focusing on our energy um, as far as with everything that's happening right now, um, just kind of calming down our energy to help to fix uh, the chaos that may be surrounding us, right? Just to kind of bring us into a place to where we can move ourselves up vibrationally and be in a place of love and understanding and compassion instead of panic and fear. Um, so if that resonates with you and you know, you're just finding or looking for a place to find that and have that connection, hopefully this is going to help you a little bit that's going to be our intention for the day, okay? Um, so go ahead and get yourself comfortable. If you've never joined us before, what happens here is I'm sending distance Reiki the entire time through this video. I will be using different crystals, smudges, and oils, um, and you'll be able to receive and tap into all those, uh, the vibration of each one. So it's like you're receiving the same energy you'd receive here in the office, but where you are. Okay, and all you need to do is just to be open, just to continue to breathe in deeply and stay in a very calm space and just allow, right? Just allow everything that's sent to you is with the highest and you know, best um, intentions and vibrations for your, 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 your need, right? Whatever you are trying to work on. And so that's what we're doing today, okay? So go ahead and get yourself comfortable, first and foremost. So if you are, you know, you need to lay on the couch or on the bed, maybe you have some pillows on the floor you want to sit, or a chair, a yoga mat, wherever. If you're in a park right now or something outside in the beautiful sunshine and have some headphones in, that works also, okay? If you're just walking around clearing and cleaning the house and listening, watching, that's good too, okay? So I'm going to start with some lighting, some Palo Santo. We go and this helps to clear the air around you and please make sure that you're breathing in very deeply now you want to bring your shoulders back you want to open up your heart chakra and allow that energy to flow to you okay and so here I'm just bringing in some of the smoke around you, cleansing and clearing, you know, over the third eye, the throat chakra, really focusing on the higher heart, the heart chakra, your solar plexus, your sacral, and the root chakra, right? And just bringing that energy of the smudge around you. And Palo Santo is holy wood for those that don't know. It's a wonderful clearing smell. It's, it's beautiful energy. Okay, and if you are not able to, you know, maybe you have some kind of lung issue or something, you know, um, and you find that you can't have the smoke around you for some reason, there's also oils of Palo Santo or sage that can help just as well. That being said, <laughs> let's see, I have a number of different oils around me today because I'm not really sure uh, and crystals what I'm going to grab and what I'm going to use, so it's just going to pop up, so bear with me, okay? Uh, I think the oil right now we're going to use is Joy. Um, Joy is a blended oil of Young Living. If you have this oil, go run and grab that really quick. If you don't, don't worry. Um, you will still benefit from all of the wonderful vibrations that this brings. And so the reason we use these oils is to help us tap in vibrationally, right? And this is a beautiful blend. It, oh, here, smell. <laughs> it smells just wonderful. And it really kind of helps to connect you with the vibration of joy and of happiness. You know, when you're feeling a little bit lower in your vibration, bringing something in to help us bring it up is extremely beneficial there we go so i'm just going to bring that over into your aura into your energetic body okay. really focusing on the heart and the higher heart chakra 
This is a wonderful oil to bring into the solar plexus. And so our intention is for that to reach you in that manner for your highest and best good. And just to help you release um, any emotions of um, a thicker density or a lower vibration. That are no longer of service to you. You want to let those go. Just kind of bringing in beautiful oil. Bringing that around you. Take a big breath in. Breathe that out deeply. And one more time. Big breath in. Release. There we go. Just slowly allowing yourself to be open. And slowly allowing yourself to release. Understanding that happiness and joy is a choice. Even when we are feeling very heavy. Very confused very much in fear, we can choose to see the higher side, the brighter side, the fifth dimensional side of things, if you will. We want to always choose and anchor our energy into the highest vibration possible, right? And so if you're feeling a little confused and lost or frightened or sad, whatever it is, Allow this to kind of work its way into your energy. And allow yourself to begin to think of joyful things, things that make you smile. Really continue to breathe that in deeply, okay? Let me see here. Oh, I told you I have crystals on both sides and oils on both sides, and oh my goodness. <laughs> so let's go ahead and definitely, I think, the next several videos, I think, are going to be really about a focused intent for releasing any outside influences that may be within our energy. Okay, now I'm not going to get too deep into it. We all know that there is a lot happening right now on our planet. And so we need to choose to find the joy, the love, the unity. Okay? And maybe turn off some of the news for a little bit, just a bit. Maybe only check your social media once in a while, not all day long, because all those add influences to your energy. And so when you're already in a place that may not be the highest vibration, they are very easy to influence your energy. And so we want to make sure that we are releasing and letting go of any attachments or cords or outside influences that may be affecting our energy here, right? When things are happening on a global stage as they are right now, we are completely putting out tons of lower vibrational energies, there is fear, there is just a lot of unknown for many people right now, and so, I mean many people, and so it goes out like a TV um, signal, and you may find yourself picking up on that and not really knowing how to transmute that or how to hold that energy and just kind of let it go, right? So we really want to make sure that we're clear. When you cleanse and clear your energy, it is so important right now to do that. So please, please, please make sure that you are doing that if you need to several times a day. Right? Every time that you feel yourself being pulled into a different direction, just take a moment, connect with your source, and really pull in that vibration of love. Clear away anything that does not belong to you. Ask to be sovereign in your energetic space, okay? So I'm really focusing on the crown, the third eye, 
the throat chakra, really pulling that in, making sure that we are communicating what is best for us and others. That's a big part of it too. Focusing on the higher heart, our unity, our compassion. If you can be of service right now to someone, anyone, do so. Okay. Our heart chakra, our solar plexus, and our sacral. And express the energy into the, into the root chakra right now. Filling the root chakra with love, and connection, and abundance, compassion, community. Really seen maybe some beautiful red energy coming down through our physical bodies, our energetic body, and really rooting us into our planet, pulling our energy down pulling us into the body, anchoring us into Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, I want to use some blue calcite. Blue calcite is a fantastic, lovely crystal to work with. This is I find it to be very gentle in its vibration. It is very good to help us smooth out any of our energy that may be chaotic, that may be frayed or excessive in its, because it looks like, like this to me, like it's just back and forth. And so when we, the frayed um, energy that some may have right now, and so we just want to really pull this in into our distant session and allow this crystal to work with your energy, to smooth it out, to allow it to be calm, allow it to be serene and tranquil. That's blue calcite, beautiful piece here. Continue breathing in, continue to allow yourself to be open to the Reiki energy coming to you, allow yourself to be open to the frequencies and vibrations of the crystal that's working within your own energy, just bringing in that place of calm, feeling very tranquil feeling more connected. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about some rose quartz? Mm -hmm. I like this piece. It looks like a like an angel wing kind of to me. <laughs> and so rose quartz helps us open up our heart chakra which is so needed right now, right? Our heart chakra to first and foremost help ourselves because if our energy is not right, if we are feeling lower, we can't very well be, um, um, well, we can be. We can be of service to other people, but it's best when we are in a good place. It is best when we are able to give uh, the highest vibration of ourselves to others when we are helping and gifting and being of service to people, when we are aligned and when we are mm, vibrating to the place of love and compassion, we are able to gift others from a much better place, right? We can, we can always continue to give but when you're worn down and you are tired and you are feeling stretched just beyond measure, you're still gonna wanna give, you're still gonna wanna help people, you're gonna still wanna be of service. But what are they receiving when you're like that? Are they receiving the best version of you? No. 
they're receiving the stretched out, although it's with love, but they are receiving that tired. They are receiving the just pulled taffy version of you. But when we are aligned in our energy, we have our own cup full. When we are content, when we are grounded and just expanding our heart chakra, open and open and open, when we are of service to others, they are getting the highest vibration of you. They are getting the version of you that is together, that is full, just exuding love, right? And so it's just a better choice that you can make. It's just a better choice. Just pulling in this beautiful rose quartz to open the heart, to bring in self-love, love for others, love for our planet. Mm. Allowing your own energy to smooth out, and to relax, and to ground you into a place of love, anchoring your energy in the vibration of love. There we go. And again, this is not saying to ignore everything that's happening around us. This is saying plug into the highest version, the highest vibrations around you. Allow those, right? Go ahead and breathe in and release. Let's see. Oh, let's do this. A little bit of amethyst. That's a pretty piece. And again, amethyst is wonderful. <laughs> it's a wonderful healing crystal. It helps the healers to heal. It is a, I guess, Swiss knife of crystals. It's wonderful for everything. Okay, and there's several different types of amethyst to use. And you can, of course, you know, find the vibration that works with you for each one, but just using amethyst, having it around you is a wonderful way to work on your healing, to bring you into a place of higher vibration, right? Just so you can feel better. And I know it's a little difficult at the moment for some to really feel connected at the same time to feel love in their heart and unity and compassion. And this is what we must strive for right now. So allow yourself to be calmed. Allow yourself to be soothed. Allow yourself to feel and accept love. Breathing in and releasing. Just going to send another little burst. Really want to bring in a very big burst of energy now. Just a fuller intent of clearing and cleansing and balancing your root chakra, bringing that in, allowing you to feel abundant in all things, okay. bringing in your heart chakra, abundance in your love, breathing in deeply and releasing. For anyone that would like to stay within this energy, that's perfectly fine. Just continue to sit or lie down. Just continue to be open to receiving this energy for your highest and best good. 
and for everyone else, start bringing yourself back into the room and be more aware of your physical body and opening your eyes and breathing in and out deeply, knowing that everything that's transpired is for your highest and best good. And I thank you so much for allowing me to be part of this time with you. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.